All right, so, oh, stop. <laughs> so still have the heater inside of here, still connected. Um, obviously, things have been busy lately. I'll, Don't I'll you do practice? Today. Practice. I had practice. I won't hit my head on this much. All right. Well, we're still we're gonna talk about it until it happens. Yep. Well, we got some good comments. It's more complex. This one. It's not that complex. So my issue with it is actually trying to find the uh, disconnect for the power towards it uh, because and someone else pointed this out too. Uh, there's no breaker for the furnace by itself because it's not a full 120 volt it actually is stepped down uh, I believe they said it was 12 or something like that so really going on with this is I have to find the fuse for it I don't know any of this stuff there's these little plastic caps already on the, the electric lines I'm gonna cap those or using I'm gonna cap the I don't know I'm gonna cover it up <laughs> basically I pinned this comment I'll show y'all right here we're basically gonna do this step by step which I'm really, I'm really thankful for this comment. And I was thinking about it. And let's, you want to send them a mug <laughs> if they want a mug, just because I like the comment. Like it was very helpful. Everything is step by step. Um, if you are the the commenter of this, we'll send you a mug if you want one. If not, then somebody else can claim it. <laughs> so I'll claim it. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is what we're working with. These two are the issue right here. Electrical, propane. I bet people would have freaked out. Electrical? <laughs> propane. <laughs> the propane goes through the colored wires? Yeah, it's really tiny <laughs> propane molecules. <laughs> These already have caps on there. What I was gonna do is take those caps off, unhook the wires, at, you know, after I unhook the, like what, what people, what they call the shoreline. <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna unplug us from the, the outlet out there. I'd put it as simple as possible. Take those apart, recap the side that's still gonna be hot. Hot wire. Hot. And then uh, I'm gonna wrap that in electrical tape too, uh, just to be really careful. And then I'm gonna tuck those away somewhere, or I don't even know where, I'm, yeah, I'll probably tuck them away. And then the propane line, I'm very tempted to just pull it out of the RV itself, because we're not gonna use it for right now. And so what's going on with the propane, ugh, uh, I can't really pull it further, so you may have to come no. look at it. Uh, to keep it falling through, there's actually a zip tie, tied pretty tightly around it. You just have to cut that away without cutting the, the hose. Uh, and then once you disconnect this, you can actually feed it back down through. What I might even do is just completely unhook this little circular piece. So it's also not in the way whenever I put a face panel on this and get you to move your shoes, Blair. I know, I know. And then I can tuck everything back in there. Even the, the heater that we're not using can just go back in there, but after it's disconnected. I'm, I'm safe. But yeah, with the propane, I still have to bleed the lines uh, after I disconnect from uh, the bottle. I, I've never seen anyone else disconnect the line from the propane bottle, but I might as well do that. Might as well. You have to do that whenever we refill it, right? Yeah. It's not it's not difficult, but everyone else was saying just basically turn off the bottles and then bleed the line using that, and it should just, you know, that, but just to as make soon as the sure. flame dies down, you're good. Uh, there may still be some, some propane within this hose or, like, you know, coming through this hose a little bit. So you and like what you do is you just turn the vents on, open yeah. some windows and all that stuff. And it'll be fine. It's not enough to actually affect you. So that's what I'll be doing. Today. What do you want? Did you find it? Find what? Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> Let me in. I'm having the baby. Let me in. Let me in. My water broke. Help me. I had a memory of putting something in here. The little pocket? What are you looking for? I don't remember. <laughs> something. Snort? No. Yeah. What do you mean, no? <laughs> something just like a, the ticket's not lost. You snorted uh -huh. directly behind it and you lied about it. <laughs> it's just like this item isn't lost. <sighs> How does it make it through a wreck like that and then just, just disappear? You know? Did you check my wallet? Yeah. So what Matt was actually looking for is a raffle ticket. So whenever we went to buy my dad's mask for his birthday, <laughs> the Game of Thrones mask, um, we went to this really, really cool costume shop that we're gonna, we'll show you guys a little bit more of it this time. And they had a raffle going for an autographed picture of Johnny Depp as, and it's a picture of Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow. And I actually won. So, um, but we lost the raffle ticket in, in the midst of the wreck and everything. But I did give them a call. They said that's fine. I've got my ID and like phone. I'm logged into Facebook. So I have different, plenty of ways to prove who I am. Uh, so we're gonna go pick that up right now. And then they're gonna get hurt. 
picture and I'll probably post about it on Facebook. So, yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. I, uh, I don't normally win stuff, but while being pregnant, I have won more giveaways and raffles than I have ever, life, yeah. yeah, like my whole life. Our so. whole life's put together. Oh, little, little Eva's a lucky little girl and strong. Yeah. Lucky and strong. Because yeah, we won a bunch of stuff at the uh, climbing competition in Houston mm -hmm. not too long ago. We cleaned house at that thing. Yeah. And it was, we bad. bought raffle tickets. I think we bought $20 worth of raffle tickets. Yeah. And we ended up taking home like a fifth of the prizes. <laughs> it was it was very cool. People didn't like us, but. It wasn't our fault. We yeah. weren't drawing. Yeah, we weren't drawing. Can, can you explain my 1047 thing? Matt has this weird obsession with the number 1047. It's not an obsession. It, it follows me around. So, you know, we just saw it today. And I'm, I'm sure everyone has, like, a number that keeps popping up. Mine's just very specific. So, it's 1047. Uh, so, 1047. I looked it up online. It's, it's part of my phone number. Um, I don't want to give the whole phone number away, obviously. <laughs> 1047 is... Really? Who is this? Burnett. Someone calling you? Insurance. We have insurance, Blair. No, thank you. That's not how that works. <laughs> All right, so 1047. Uh, we looked it up online, uh, found a few things. It's part of your phone number. It follows you around. Define, or what does that mean? What does it mean that it follows you around? So it's it's also a, a time on a clock. Um, I always see it. Like, always. Yeah, you just happen to look up and you're like, oh, it's 1047. Yeah, and it, it just became this thing like... It was kind of interesting the first couple times, and then it became just this whole thing where, it, like, at least once a day I see it. You know, out of, out of the two chances, I always see it. And I always recognize it. And I, I thought, well, you know, that's just, I got some kind of weird association with it. Uh, but then I started seeing it kind of, like, all over the place. So, uh, even yesterday at Target, uh, mm -hmm. we saw it on a Fitbit. The time that they chose as the, uh, you know, advertising time was 1047. And that it was on the specific Fitbit that he was looking at. Cause the one I wanted running. to look at. He was possibly going to get one. Because um, I'm still trying to run, running, guys. For his running, which... I haven't done today, and um, it's supposed to rain, too. So, I don't know. We'll see. But I was like, look at the time on the Fitbit. And it was 1047. Just weird. And we saw it on the license plate today. Yeah. So, so. I don't know. It's just interesting. But what, what did it say when we looked it up? Uh, the meaning of 1047. Ah. It's like basically you're not taking advantage it of... It means that you have skills and talents that you are not making use of. Yeah. So, interesting. Yeah. Not living up to your full potential. I've always known that. But you've talked about it since we knew each other. I've had the same phone number since, but the only phone number I've ever had. So that's my life. Is this the mad face? It's, it's a mad face. But, do uh, it, do it. I, I just did it. Get that eyebrow, you know, <laughs> and then those dimples. <laughs> I don't even know what all it is now. It's like I got a, I don't know. <laughs> Chill little cheeks. Okay, let's go in. It's getting weird. <laughs> like, a, like the Grinch or something. <laughs> Look at that zoom action though. Well, what'd you get? <laughs> Johnny it's pretty Boy. Sweet. Pretty sweet. That was also, I've, I've been a big part of the Caribbean fan, but like the first two and a half movies. Wh whose signature did you really want? Huh? This is second best, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess. I mean, he's definitely a better character than oh, yeah. Orlando Bloom. Orlando Bloom was garbage. Dempster Fair. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They're all nasty. Ugh. 
Ugh. Yeah, you have the full thing right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more right here. The whole wall of masks. Okay, we're home. You're off work. What are you gonna go do? Kind of off work. No, I'm off work. Uh, go run. Woo! Yeah. This, and I'll show. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll do this. Murder! Murder! Because that's really the, the biggest thing. And also, I just did a leg workout, which is part of the reason just why I didn't want to run. Three days ago. Two two days ago. Three days ago. But I'm still a little sore. I just did a leg workout, you know, know. last week. Well, yeah, but before that, I hadn't done a leg workout I know. for like it's three just weeks. Funny. <laughs> I just did a leg workout. I did a leg workout last month. So it was last month. <laughs> yeah. But, All right. Uh, so, but you got called out in the comments, didn't you? You mentioned it whenever we sat in front of Target. You said I haven't run today. So, there you go. I mean, I want to run. Yeah, go, 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 go. I have 30 minutes before I have to go, go to practice. Go, go, go. I'm going to try to run a mile, but I doubt it's going to go well. So it's probably going to be like It's going to go mile. great. Well, Matt's running, I'm going to sit here and read. I've got my little uh, reading light. It's pretty awesome. So this, my chair, my glider setup, is pretty perfect for nights that I can't sleep. Because I can just sit over here. I've got my little reading light. I can just read. It's nice and quiet. The dogs are outside. I'm trying to enjoy this quiet while I can because I know it's not going to last. It's not going to last much longer. Baby's going to be here soon and things are going to get crazy. Go, Matt, go. Look at this little guy. I don't want one of the dogs to try and eat you. They're fast. Go, go, go. Into the woods. Go, go, go. There you go. Woohoo! <laughs> How'd it go? <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's just dramatic drinking. So. Wait for it. Wait for it. One mile at a 9.22 pace. So you finished the mile? Yeah, but I had Good. to walk a bit more than I wanted to. Yeah. So I was uh, at a pace of 131 for a long time, right around there. No, 831. Yeah, 131. <laughs> I was just going. An hour? Or a yeah, minute? an hour and 31 minutes. <laughs> uh, so I sped that up and then I slowed it down. <laughs> my knee did great. Really? Yeah, my issue was my uh, breathing, like big time. Yeah. And also my, I'm still carrying a lot of stress, I guess, or something. My shoulders back yeah. kept tightening up. Use the body back, buddy. Which uh, like changed how I ran a little mm -hmm. bit. So, also put more pressure on my right leg. And then my legs got tight. My uh, shin muscles, some meteorolalis. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Nice, killed it. <laughs> the tibial plateau no, that's meningitis. What, that's what you broke. I got a mile. You got it done. Yeah, got a mile. And you actually did a mile. Yeah, uh, two stops, so didn't really count, but. It'll get better. My goal, overall goal, before I start running outside of here is five miles, no stops. I'll get there again. Have fun with that. We did a uh, the 10k, which is what? That's six miles. Almost 10 years ago. It? It's it is zoomed in. Uh, mm. Oh, you're recording. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> so it looks like we're basically back to normal life. Yeah. Get me in bed. You going to work? Yeah, me going <laughs> to work. Pretty much it. Yeah, and then I'm. The only thing is, we don't have two cars at the moment. You know, so. This is where I'll be today. Yeah. She'll be here all day. But I'm going to try to take her to a buffet later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully that works out for us. It's supposed to rain. I know. It's supposed to rain. So, if it rains too much, we won't go. But, yeah. Just back to work. Back to school. <laughs> back to normalcy. Yeah. Ish. But, yeah. Until last last month was good. Again. Minus the car wreck. Literally the, the day after, like, which was the last day of May? No. April. April. Months. <laughs> Months are hard. Uh, I actually, like, met the goal of her sales, and it was, like, on the last day of the month, the day after the car wreck, so it was just surprising. Mm -hmm. Didn't think I was going to do it, so. So, yeah. At least I'm doing my job. You're doing really good. Supporting this one, and then 
wear sell them for of someone hats. else. I, don't, I try not to wear too many hats. It means receding hairlines. <laughs> so wear I hear. Hats all the time. Yeah, it's true. I wear hats all the time. <laughs> Is it receding? No, that's. I don't know. I don't know. Whoa! I think that's also a really bad angle. Oh, that's a good angle. <laughs> yeah. It's a very unflattering angle. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks all right. I feel like we should end it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.